Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so, I've done it, I've moved everything across, and um, I also put the radiator there just because it's the best radiator on the game. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd um, pop that on as well. So, I have enjoyed the Beetle, it is a really good one. Um, but because of what I want to do with the number plates and um, all that, this does make sense and it's a survival game so fans of the beetle yes I'm a fan of the beetle myself it doesn't look like it leaving it in this state but um <laughs> I mean she still likes it and uh, yeah so we've got 48 litres of petrol um yeah I've done this up I've got a light in the back as well that was actually really really useful uh, that's water. We've got some paint. So all of this stuff, well, them for that and that, probably going to fall out. But I'll try not to uh, make them fall out. There's the number plates. And with this, let's see if I can sleep again. No, not quite. With this, um, oh, I'd forgotten about that. That's the important bit as well. With these little brackets here, you can attach um, boxes to them. And some of these lorries have an exhaust that goes up. So then that makes that more useful. So, yeah, if you play in the game and you come across one of these, crates do attach to these bits. And I think... So, this is only think. You might be able to attach a barrel there. So we've got um, about 46 litres of diesel there, I think. That's empty. And there's another empty one this side as well. So, yeah, progress is going to be a little bit slower. That's only got one left in it. So, yeah. Uh, there you go. If you want to do some polishing and stuff, I'll leave that in there with you. Oh, sorry. I'm not in a stress. Um... Yeah, so we need to do a lot of work on this, obviously. We need doors. We need a much better engine because this isn't going to be fast. But yeah, it's a survival game. And I think at the moment, this is a really good shout having this one. And obviously, we have got 45 turbos. I'm not going to be stealing anything off the AI traffic just not worth it but I don't think it'll be long before we come across something of use what's that? a radiator, oh that's where um, a car spawned in and uh, crashed probably yeah so it's a bit of a monster isn't it But yeah, we've got some diesel, so if we come across a bus or another truck, we could swap the engine out and um, yeah, get a little bit more speed. So yeah, we'll get there. There's lots of hatches and everything that we need to um, find as well, because I will get this. Oh, it's got five gears. Nice. I will get this in a much nicer condition. And if we drop too much slower, I'll pause and then unpause when you know, I've built some speed up. So yeah, I like it. Right, I think we're going to lose speed going into fifth. on turbos yeah you can actually see the engine through there so we need the cover for that as well and obviously yeah much bigger wheels yeah it can't do fit yet not with this engine should have picked the speedo up as well shouldn't I Yeah. 
roses. Sorry, I'm just having a cheeky cigarette. I did actually want to join the police force. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'll cope too well dealing with, um, yeah, like domestic violence and stuff. But I just couldn't. Yeah. They have to deal with so much stuff. Like, you know, obviously fatalities, murders, rapists women ab abusers and all that I just couldn't deal with it I'd lose my job very very quickly yeah I've got massive respect for the police some of them are useless but in every job you get useless members of staff every single job and the crap that they have to deal with when you do see a police officer and they're in a bad mood you don't know what they've just come from anyway Yeah, we need the hatch as well. Yeah, it's not the fastest. We're not quite making 50 miles an hour. Or oh, is that a UFO coming? I don't really want to pause it and, um, yeah, get to the next building because... I'll get there and there'll be a fully built truck and then no one will believe me. Let's sky at night. Well, it's quite a thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what colour I'm going to do it yet. Oh, look, building. Nice. So, we're after, obviously, doors, all that kind of stuff. And um, big wheels. Even if we can only find two. Um, that will... Uh, oh, careful, mate. This used to happen when I was a lorry driver. Someone would overtake and then slow me down. It used to really annoy me. They'd see a lorry and think that it was going to be driving really slow. I didn't used to drive dangerously. I used to drive, yeah, efficiently. Because obviously it was always, um, yeah, timed stuff that I was delivering. Luckily I didn't do multi-drop, so it was just one delivery a day for the first lorry job. And, uh, yeah, love that place. I didn't get the sack or anything. I left on good terms. I think they'd have me back tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it's a lot to give up. A lot of time. You're spending that much time on the road. A shame, really. But, yeah, the second job I had was crap. I was delivering engine parts overnight. And, uh, yeah, the company was, uh... Not very nice. Right, I haven't got any rounds in. How many of you were screaming at the screen? But all my viewers were, both of them. Right. So we got a V8. So obviously, I'm going to pop that out the front. Oil. Oil. We'll have that. So, yeah, as many of these as I can get, really. I'll 
have it kitted out. And I'm going to say that I'll tidy it up so they're all level. But you know it's not going to happen. Because I'll get too carried away with other stuff. I can't skip this bit, unfortunately, so sorry, everyone. It's, yeah, just in case I find a barrel full of fuel or something. Uh, that was probably fuel. Okay. Empty. Alcohol. Just in case you can't read. One litre of diesel. Blood, empty. Gas and oil, ammo. I'll leave the ammo, we've got plenty. Petrol. Nice. Right, I'm almost done, don't I? There's usually something over here as well. Didn't see any big wheels. There's one. Didn't see any more big wheels. There's two. You get the idea. Oh, come on, auto save. Nice. Nice. Right, I think that's um, pretty much everything useful. There's not going to be more than a few litres. Okay. Oh, I haven't checked the um, fuel tank of this, have I? Where is it? Is it the one at the back? Nice. Right, so I'm probably going to roll this out the way. And, uh, yeah. And I'll carry on doing stuff. So. Uh, I didn't check for body panels, did I? Quickly do that. Um, no, no, I think this is four wheel drive, so putting big wheels on one axle is a really, really bad idea. Years ago, off on another tangent now, years ago I had a um, Ford car Mark II. And um, got a flat tyre when I was at work. No one put it down. It was just a slow puncture. And um, yeah, we just couldn't get... Bearing in mind, yeah, pretty strong blokes working in that industry. Couldn't get the um, one of the nuts off the wheels. So I had to drive with a space saver on the front, one side. 17-inch alloy on the other side. And God, the noise the diff was making. <laughs> Or whatever it was, I don't know. But yeah, it was properly whining. Right, so, I'll be with you in just a moment. Being chased by a police. <laughs> oh no. Go on, golf. Anyway, um, yeah, so I found a radiator um, that's meant for this. So I'll probably fit that, but I'm still... Um, Busy working my way through. I haven't found anything else useful as yet. And I'm not taking that diesel engine because that's way too underpowered for this. So, yeah. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, sorry about this. So, I want to show these kind of bits. So, a taxi has stopped for me. So, I could get in this taxi and have a ride up the road. Um, but... If you want to see what happens, um, have a look at um, my short that I did. So I sit in the back of a Cadillac, one of these. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so I won't be doing that. But I'm putting the V8 in this now. So yeah, I won't be too long. Back in a moment. Okay, so sorry about all this um, pausing and unpausing. So basically, the V8's in now. Um, the truck radiator is in the back somewhere. Um, I'm taking the engine and also the old uh, beetle engine and also a drum so that's only got oil in but um, I haven't actually tried this yet so we haven't got unlimited fuel 
but um, let's see how it feels with these odd wheels on. Well, it's certainly quicker, isn't it? And we've got fifth gear as well. So it seems doable, doesn't it? Yeah, it seems alright, actually. With the uh, wonky wheels. We're probably losing stuff out the back. But that's just the way it's got to be. Yeah, going over 100. We're actually going faster now than we were in the Volkswagen Beetle. But obviously we're going to be rinsing this fuel. Uh, uh, oh, don't crack. Don't roll. Yeah, we probably... Oh, no, we, I don't think we lost that much, actually. Yeah, so... Um, if there's a ship near the road, we'll go to it and try and get this... Um, brimmed. We've got a little bit of diesel. We've got about 40 litres of diesel. But this is actually um, quite a good combination, isn't it? The uh, V8 and the truck. Yeah, I like it. Um, with the bus or truck wheels on the front, it would probably handle quite a lot better than it is at the moment. But it's not doing too bad. I mean, I could drive it a little bit slower, couldn't I? That would be um, that would be the safe option. Something coming up. A bit close there, Jolly. Yeah, I think um I think this was a good shout. So I can probably lose that Volkswagen B2 engine. This, uh, yeah, this is doing all right. You can probably see the fuel gauge moving. No. No. Careful. Yeah, I was saying before in the last episode about people um, seeing a lorry and just doing everything they could to get past it because they presumed it was going to be slow. Um, junctions as well. People see a lorry coming and think that it's going to be doing two miles an hour. So they just pull out. It's so dangerous. And you've got so many blind spots in a lorry, even with all the mirrors that you've got. So many blind spots. Yeah, near misses, I've probably had about a billion. But actual accidents, only ever one. And that was, um, I hit a stationary car. It's still so annoying. It was pitch black. It was at night, and um, yeah, it was the second company that I worked for. And uh, yeah, my delivery spot was a car dealership. And they, even though we kept saying to them, you can't park like that if you want a lorry delivering there, they kept abandoning cars all over the place. And uh, yeah, so my route was blocked, and I had to reverse out. And um, yeah, pitch black. 
no lights there at all. So all I have is my headlights and hazard lights. And uh, yes, yeah, so I reversed out and I've bloody hit a little Kia uh, Picanto. Almost brand new. Just tapped it. So annoying. I could have got away with it. But yeah, I'm not like that. That was someone's car, so. Yep, I admitted to it. But yeah, I didn't do too bad. And yeah, tens of thousands of miles. One little donk. Not too bad. Oh, I thought that was something coming up. We are at the end of the episode. I was kind of hoping we'd come across a building so that you don't all think I've spawned something in. Rosas will just overtake off road in our monster truck. Oh, yeah, and also before I um, end the episode, so I can't see anything. Oh, press the wrong button. Uh, this was actually fully on the brakes as well. Um, let's turn the engine off because we can't really afford the fuel. Off. Um, yeah, I put the bonnet down. So, uh, yeah, I think it looks quite good. Down. But obviously when we find the um, proper grill, I'll put that on. I am trying to sleep, but it's not letting us. And uh, that's good. The um, Yeah, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> right, so thanks for watching everyone. I hope you um, like the idea of the truck at least. It won't be long before I've got things sorted. And uh, yeah, if you like this, please feel free to join me in the next one. Bye for now.